I trained at University College Hospital and I think I was very lucky to come under the influence of Willie Grossman who taught orthodontics there. He himself had learned about functional appliances way back before the war. He was actually an Austrian Jew and uh, when the war broke out or just before came to England really to remove himself from the Nazis. But he was a, a very kind and I found interesting chap and I, I quickly developed a big interest in orthodontics which lasted all my life. But um, he introduced me to the Anderason monoblock, which was basically the principal functional appliance of that time. There have been many, many others since, but that was what I was trained on. It was rather a horrendous block of black vulcanite when I first came upon it. It later became a synthetic resin, but um, as to, all it really did was held the lower jaw forward to help to change the class two division um, one malocclusions, which are very common in the UK. We found it worked quite satisfactorily, um, though I believe it's more a question of balancing the upper with the lower than actually encouraging lower growth, as we fondly imagine. In reality, I think it takes the um, upper teeth back a bit and the lower teeth forward a bit, and there's a lot of debate as to whether it actually encourages forward growth of the mandible or whether it's just um, that the whole of the face drops down, reducing the difference between the maxilla and mandible. Well, whichever is the principal reason, um, I actually, at quite the tender age of, I suppose, about 20, was using these appliances in the orthodontic department at University College. And I remember the very first case I did, which was quite an attractive girl, went beautifully. Um, and I was very pleased, so were uh, um, my tutors. And I think that's what really um, sold me on the concept of guiding growth. Later on, I discovered that it wasn't always successful as that. I had one really rather nice um, 10-year-old girl who started with her uh, Andreessen monoblock. And right from the very beginning, she was very awkward about it. She was closing her lower jaw on the underneath of the appliance rather than closing up into it. Um, after two months, I could see that it wasn't working at all well, and so I stopped treatment. But to my horror, her face progressively continued to grow downwards, really spoiling her appearance. I show you the, the three pictures that were taken of her x-rays um, before, during, and at the end of treatment, and you will see the very large increase in vertical growth. Um, uh, because I'd stopped treatment, I was surprised that this has continued. But I remember I was only graduated um, probably not much more than a year. So I returned to um, the hospital and asked a couple of professors, um, what should I do? They had a look and they said, oh, well, it's not your fault at all, John. It's just the way she's growing. And well, I knew that wasn't the case because she'd been growing perfectly all right before I gave her the appliance. But um, in the end, I had to watch her continue to grow in this very unattractive method, um, being quite unable to do anything about it. Now, I have no doubt what was causing it, and I wouldn't find it difficult to prevent it. But at the time, I didn't. And in a way, this has given me a conscience, which I'm sure has lasted all my life. And why it's one of the reasons why I am so determined to get the world at large to realize what goes wrong with growth and how it can be cured, because it most certainly can. Um, the consequence of this, plus various other things, is that I created um, a series of appliances, which I called the bioblock appliances. 
they were intended to um, not just change the shape, but primarily to guide the growth. And I think many people misunderstand that. We'll talk about the appliances in detail later. But as a series, they started by enlarging the upper jaw to make room for the tongue, and then continuing by training the child to keep their mouth shut. Um, and it was remarkable. If you change the posture, particularly made the child keep their own mouth shut. Remember, you are not holding it. They are teaching themselves to hold it. If they drop the jaw, it's actually uncomfortable, which is how it actually uh, trains. But um, the jaws will actually change to quite a significant extent. Not only that, but I found the teeth would align themselves. And this I found quite remarkable. Um, in a way, I think I was just replicating what happens with normal animals. You don't see animals with crooked teeth, but then they, of course, have natural tongue, lip and jaw posture. Um, I think this is what made me really switch to the concept of using what I call tropic appliances, or um, uh, I use the word orthotropics, as distinct from functional, because I don't think they're the same. If you can guide the actual posture, you will guide the growth in a way that I have never seen functional appliances able to achieve.